What's up, my ladies? My name is Pokey Dragon. Welcome back to another video. Now, in this video, I've learned a little bit. Well, sorry, it's Cars and Coffee, and I'm going to somewhere different. This time, I'm going to Raleigh Cars and Coffee. So, for those of you guys who live in Raleigh and who are going to the Cars and Coffee, new members coming to see you guys. But also, I've learned a couple things last time when I recorded, and that was I know where my microphone is, so which is good. And in case it ends up being windy again, I'm gonna bring this little piece with me so that way when I record it, all I gotta do is just you know stuff it on put on the microphone and you know continue recording so that way you know y'all don't have to hear all that wind noise because god dang that was really embarrassing. I'm really sorry about that. But anyways, if you're also new to the channel, you guys, why don't you consider subscribing? Because guess what? I'm trying to hit, you know, maybe 200 subscribers. I know we can do it. I know w this whole community can do it. Let's just be a good family together and and subscribe. Come on, this guy, guys. But anyways, I'm gonna get start getting ready, and I will see you guys when it's time for me to go. Also, one thing a lot of you guys suggest that I use is use one of these. You, so I'm gonna use that when I get to the actual cars and coffee. So can't wait to see you guys there again. As you guys can tell, it's a it's a cloudy day, but still a pretty good day to go look at some cars. Right now, what I'm doing right now is to do a, a cup a little bit of like routine checks. Then after that, I think it's time we, we hit the road. What do you guys think? Also, for now, I'm not gonna be like you know vlogging like this because you know I've been noticing I've been doing that. That that stops t this vlog. From now on, it's gonna be upright or I'm gonna be having it on on my little thing. And yes, so I I think I think it was we're ready. I checked the coolant. I checked everything. Let's let's get on the way to Raleigh Cars and Coffee, you guys. Also, for those who don't know, this is my 2004 BMW ZHP. Pretty rare, if I do say so myself. Pretty rare. Anyways, now let's get going. Alrighty, you guys, so we're finally here. Sorry about the whole noise, but fun fact, come check some of these cars out. The kind of cars that we that are here right now is actually pretty cool. So check this out. We got some lifted trucks. We got multiple, um, we got multiple floors. Another one just popped, th popped in, which is pretty cool. Look at that, you guys. <laughs> that, that actually looks really nice. So let's go over here, and actually, we can see what else people are brought. We have, we have some, we have some beautiful Mustangs. Even though I'm talking about some beautiful Stangs, beautiful Porsche right here. Beautiful. C L K K A M G. Thinking about getting one of those. Thinking about getting one of these, you guys. What do you guys think? You guys think I should get one of these? One reason why I'm thinking about getting one of these, you guys, the fun, the, the coolest fact is the fact these things are so rare. They're like these things are so rare, and it's so unbelievable to see these things in person. I believe this is also the black edition as well, because of just how, just because of how it looks so aggressive. Which I myself, I dig it. I really do dig it. What do you guys think? You think that should be the new work car for the for Pokey on for the Pokey Drago channel? Because as you guys probably would know, Omega was my you know car for the channel. Anytime I would drive, I would I would like to film a video about it and show you guys like the my experience of taking care of it. Well, I guess you guys know how that ended it out. Anyways, as you guys can also tell. There's a whole bunch of beamers right here. Now those aren't like obviously those aren't like people own um, beamers. Those are actually dealership beamers. 
So why don't we go check out and see which ones they have? I bet you they have an M240, M235i. Well, fun fact, they actually have a i3, so that's pretty cool. Look at that, M240. The first car I, w I checked, M240, baby. I know my cars. Hey, check that out, you guys. It's the, what I call the track Voltec. If you guys remember in my, one of my previous videos, that Voltec, Voltec, oh my God, I'm doing what they're doing on GTA. All those little kids on GTA. I didn't mean to say that, you guys. The, the, um... Jeez, now, now I got now I got the whole Voltec thing stuck in my head. Crap! Crap. Crap. Anyway, wait, Lotus, there we go. The track book, this track focus Lotus is actually in my one of my previous videos, which is actually pretty cool. Beautiful carbon fiber wing. Beautiful carbon fiber right there as well. Beautiful Porsche right there. Let's see what else we got, you guys. Beautiful Corvette right here. Actually, let me guys actually this. Do you guys want me to? Because I am thinking about it. Do you guys want me to get a C, uh, a C6, C7, or C5 Corvette? I think that'd be really different because. I've always been like German, 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 German. Maybe I should get something, you know, completely different, something completely unexpected. So, I mean, I mean, I mean, this is, a, I believe, a C5 Corvette. That's a Z06. And look, it tells you like what number the Z06 is. That's pretty cool. I like it. I really do like it. I like the wheels on there as well. So I mean, like, let me know in the comment section down below, which which car sh should I get? Should I get good old American Muscle, or should I get that nice CLK um, AMG? I think it'd be pretty cool cool to get the AMG. Well, the, yeah, the CLK 63 AMG. Oh yeah, I was right, you guys. Remember I told you this is the Black Series? Ha! I was right. But yeah, let me know in the comment section down below if you guys want me to get the CLK 63 or the C5 Corvette. I mean, both would be equally pretty good. But, we shall see you guys. We shall see. Yes, sir. Anyways, let's see what else people are bringing to the table. So, they're looking at... So Alfa Romeo is actually letting us sit in this beautiful thing. So let's see, this is the Q2. Oh really? Yeah. Hmm. He said it's like out of a neon. Dude, this actually be really cool. Fun, fun fact, you guys, I've never in my life ever sat in an Alfa Romeo. I know, crazy, right? But the freaking Alfa Romeo. Q2, for what I've heard, is actually pretty good. Hang on, I'm gonna get a much better shot of it. But yeah, the, the Alfa Romeo Q2 is actually pretty cool. It actually has a good amount of horsepower and is a really good luxury car. For, I mean, that's what I heard. I mean, I'll probably do my own research about Alfa Romeo soon, but I mean, let's see what we got here. Freaking huge power shifters that actually feel pretty good. I ain't gonna lie. Really heavy bolstered seats. Oh boy. Seriously, th seriously, this steering wheel looks actually pretty cool. And the, and how big these power seats are is just ridiculous. Start stop button like the Ferraris would. I believe this is like extra storage. Yep. Old oldie BMW just passing by. Really good gear lever. Huh. Interesting. I don't know. For those of you guys who actually have Alfa Romeo 
I know you can't see it, but that says DNA. What does DNA stand for? Oh, that actually is pretty cool. The volume controls are right here. I don't know what this power button means or does. Huh. I mean, I could probably see me, you know, rocking an Alfa Romeo. Let's see what the sticker price on this one is. 47000 Okay. This is the Alfa Romeo Galivia TI Sport. Oh, well, that's pretty cool. Ugh. Let's test the let's test the rear space with the seat where it is. Ugh. I mean, if the seat were to be moved up, I mean, as you guys can tell, my legs are like this. But if the seat were to move up, I think I'll probably have enough room to really sit back here. I mean, it feels pretty comfortable back here. This feels really comfortable. I I did not expect this type of you know, quality from Alfa Romeo. That. That's that's a Subaru, by the way. If you guys want to know what the heck that noise is, but yeah, this Alfa Romeo Galia Ti Sport, it's pretty good. Now the only question is, let's see if I can get out. <laughs> Glorious amount of space, and you, and it has the and it has like the real folding seats, so you know you can really you can really be okay. Now. We're gonna go to Maserati and let's see what they got in store. Well, this one has quad tailpipes, you guys. Okay. This is the Maserati Galibi. I'm sorry if I really, like, like really misspoke that. That. <laughs> All right, guys. So let me ask you guys a question. Sorry about that. Sorry about me holding the camera weird. But what's you guys' opinion? On these wheels. Oh no, that's another Alfa Rome. That's another um, Alfa Romeo right there. And that's. Well, actually, no, I don't think that's a Maserati. Nope, that's a Maserati. Anyway, anyways, what's your guys' opinion on these wheels? Minus the you know obvious curb rash right here, but what's your guys' opinion on them? My opinion? I actually think they look pretty cool. Maserati um, brake calibers, which is pretty good. I really like this, you guys. I really do. So, you guys, what do you guys do on this whole like car in general? To, to me, I mean, it's it's pretty it's pretty nice. Now, one thing I do say that I'm, you know, I don't know that much about uh, Maserati, so it's kind of interesting to see what's gonna happen once I open this door. Oh wow, this thing actually has like the little thing like the red car does. That's pretty good. That's pretty luxurious. Wow, that is, that is straight up like, okay. Oh wow. Wow, that's a lot of noise canceling from what I heard. You get a level. We got traction control, manual. I don't know what ICE means. We got the sport and a blank switch. And we got the stupid thing that I can never get used to. Now one thing I don't like about in cars is the stupid or these stupid analog clocks. Yes, I understand that it's supposed to represent, you know, like wealth and like, oh, I'm so classy. That only works with some specific cars, which I, for, for, or at least from my standpoint, I absolutely hate. So for example, like something like this right there, no, just no, just no. The only cars I can see you putting this in, or like the more luxurious one. So Maserati could be one of them. Um, unless it's the sport unless it's like a sport Maserati. Another one will be the like 
like some of the Lexus models, but but if it's like like a sport Lexus, like like the R like the RCF, do not put like a stupid analog clock in there. It just looks it just ruins the whole sport sporty aspect, at least to me. Wow, this one does have like one of those little things. You, you, if you push all the way down, it will click. Oh, hello. That actually looks pretty cool, you guys. So if you, this thing will be like if you want. Oh, hell a second. That actually looks really nice because this is how you open the door right there. Huh? Not bad, you guys. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. So yeah, what's you guys' opinion on it? I think it looks pretty good for you know. A Maserati. And I know that might be saying a lot to. Uh, I might be criticizing Maserati fans, but I mean, it looks pretty good. It looks pretty alright. It looks pretty dope, in my opinion. Alright, now let's see what else, else people are bringing to the party today.